This video is made not to spread hate, but to change how others think. I believe that whatever you throw in the world, you will get it back. For instance, if you throw negativity upon others, you will get negativity in return. The more you share your blessings with others, the more blessings you will receive. This is for educational purposes only. Are you a positive or a negative person? Do you support a negative person or a positive one? September 22nd, 2020. An open letter to you. Hello friends, I just want to talk about the comments I've seen on Facebook and YouTube that pisses me off every time. So, there's a lot of netizens commenting on what the government should do and shouldn't do on the pandemic. Good example is Vice Lenny. Pandemic or not, anyway, let the government do what they can control. My family in the UK and as in Japan are suffering from the coronavirus and if it's not obvious, I will also point out that Japan and United Kingdom are rich countries. If you want improvements, it should start at them. Regarding the local jobs comments I've seen on Facebook and YouTube, being unemployed is all over the world. I used to get this to providing us some money while we look for a job. Been on it a few times. I also know some people who was on it before me. What we need is education about how money works. If we have money skills, we can create jobs ourselves. Intelligence solves problems and produces money, not the government's efforts or the donations from the rich. Those are just a plus. Those are just more blessings you are just receiving. So please stop blaming the government or the rich or the pandemic regarding your status in life. You are you before and after the pandemic. My close relatives in the Philippines works hard. Still not enough when it comes to COVID. Though, media has a huge impact in our lives. If they share an article with a propaganda, tons of negative and hateful comments are to be seen. However, if they share a positive article, positive, people would comment in return. While mostly, you cannot change someone with a crap mentality, they would always think poorly and negative. There's always someone with a negative tongue. There are people who would stick to that negative propaganda and share it whenever they see a positive article about that person. For instance, President Duterte. It's hilarious but sad. There are always people who demands more. Be grateful. You are blessed if you have a house to live in. Some has to live on streets. You create your life, not other people. You are born to learn and to develop both professional and personal skills. It's all right to ask for little assistance during COVID. Don't ever do it. You have no idea how Filipinos are working abroad, doing all the sidelines they can while still working on their full-time job. They have less sleep, but more body aches just to help their family and even friends in the Philippines. They're not robots. They're just like you with a lot of problems of their own. Yes, we have our own problems to deal with too, whether I live in the UK or Japan. That's life. We humans are the most intelligent critters on Earth, but on the same time, we are the most unfair and greedy ones. We are never satisfied in life. Don't demand others to change your life for you. Why rely on miracles or other people when you can create your own good possibilities? There are two types of people, a negative one and a positive one. BBM, for example, if you're of negative type, who would post a comment, complaining that he's not doing enough, he's a liar. They Marcoses don't deserve to be praised. You play the victim and complain that it's unfair. Judge BBM for all the love and support or whatever he achieved and enjoyed in life. People can create negative news or share those negative issues for their own gain, but, I'm sorry to say, there are things that will never change in life, no matter how hard you try. If you're positive or kind in nature, 
you are likely to have a different view about the Marcoses. You might view BBM as a source of inspiration, motivation, hope, and then make progress yourself. We can gather information in the internet, use whatever resources you have. Get rid of that crab mentality. What is crab mentality? If someone are full of positivity for themselves, but full of negativity for others, they blame their comrades for their failures rather than help them, they treat their comrades as competitors. All of these reminds me of Vice Lenny. Whatever President Duterte is doing, she's against it. Stop complaining, surround yourself with positivity and be a better version of yourself right now. Drop the negatives, drop people who make you a negative person, drop people who make you embrace the hate. Holding that grudge is never going to have the effect you're hoping for. Pero alam you guys, nawindang ako nung nakita ko yung likod. Kasi ganito yung nakasulat, instead na ang nakasulat is plataforma nila. Sabi dito, ibalik ang ninakaw, hindi ang magnanakaw. Marcos Jr. is really a weak leader. The lying king. Ayan siya guys. Ba't ganun? Ba't ganun yung likod ng players nyo? Ang ganda sana pakinggan. Oh. Gobyernong tapat, angat buhay lahat. I didn't proclaim martial law alone. Uh, it is made to appear as if uh, I, I just uh, signed the decree and said, I impose martial law on each and every one of you. No. I ask the legislature to please pass a law proclaiming martial law because there was anarchy in the country. Now, uh, let me uh, say this. The opposition was strong. And uh, they were members of the Security Council, and somehow they adopted the resolution which uh, required that there be a unanimous vote for the armed forces to be able to move. And therefore, the armed forces was immobilized. At the same time, I ask, uh, um, the um, opposition party to come and join me in a coalition government. I offered one half of the cabinet. And of course they laughed at me and said, why should we join you? We're going to take over the government. By the time you are through with the exercise, you're dead. Politically and otherwise. <laughs> so, and they uh, refused to join uh, me. I asked the advice of the uh, judiciary. I asked the Supreme Court justices, the no, Court of Appeals justices, and the members of the private sector. And all of them told me there's only one man who can proclaim martial law, and that is the president. And you are it. You are the only one who can proclaim martial law. This is why I must carry this particular mark in our history. I could, have, I could not have transferred it to the legislature. Why? Because the legislature did not have the power. What does the Constitution provide? The, uh, president shall be the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Philippines and he may order the armed forces out to quell any disorder, riot, rebellion, invasion, insurrection and in case of invasion, insurrection, rebellion or imminent danger thereof when the public safety requires it he may suspend the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus or proclaim martial law throughout the Philippines or any part thereof. What does that provision provide? It provides that only the president can proclaim martial law. The people said there was necessity for proclaiming martial law. And the people said, you are the only official who can proclaim martial law. So I hate. I proclaim martial law. And I sincerely believe that it was necessary to proclaim martial law to install order and stability because there was complete anarchy throughout the country at the time. Now, therefore, uh, at that particular period, uh, what was the status of our government? Our government was immobilized, impotent. The armed forces could not move out. The industry was uh, not at all in any way uh, um, moving, uh, there was no income coming into government, everybody was running away. They burned the U.S. Embassy, partly burned the U.S. Embassy, tried to burn it anyway. They tried to kidnap the American ambassador, American ambassador was by road, ambassador by road. And uh, they tried to kidnap uh, 
our foreign minister, foreign minister Romulo, whom you just uh, um, saw today, and I told him, you better disappear because I will not run from you. Uh, <laughs> but whatever it is, they burn the Manila International Airport, they bomb the Supreme Court, they bomb the Constitutional Convention, they bomb the City Hall, they burn the uh, part of uh, Malacanian Palace, they attempted to uh, kidnap my children, they attempted to kill the President eight times. There was, of course, an attempted assassination against the First Lady. You all know about that. And you gave them orders to wait. And I told they, them to wait because... There are many civilians near our troops, and we cannot keep on withdrawing. They asked us to withdraw yesterday. When I talked to Mr. Enrile, he said, you talk to you, we withdraw My order is to disperse the crowd. We cannot do all the time, Mr. President. Without we must... shooting them. No, 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 hold on. You disperse the crowd without shooting them. Miriam Defensa Santiago, a smart and loved senator, once said. The first time I saw a video about BBM, I watched Inur. That's when I did a research about him and eyes. I liked him ever since that I share videos about them on Facebook. When suddenly, one of my uncle asked me why I'm a pro Marcos. That's when they told me that our family are repro Marcoses too. Mum told me a lot of good things during the Marcos era. Once again, I felt amazed. Until I was told that we are even related to the Marcoses. I could feel so proud until someone heard our conversation and said something negative. I was shocked. And so, I did numerous research and found out about the anti-Marcoses about the yellow. I am still a proud pro Marcos until today. And let me tell you it's the same with President Duterte. While growing up in the UK never in my life, I have heard any one of my titos, titers and parents talking about politics. When President Duterte happened, that's the talk they mostly have. Like it's the first time Philippines has elected a president. I felt the changes too. I never paid a terminal fee on an airport before, only in the Philippines. Been to other parts of Europe, Asia, and America. That changed when Duterte became president. No more terminal fee in the Philippines, dot, eh? As years gone by I could say that whatever the yellows are doing against Duterte. They have done it to APO Marcos as well. And they are still doing it to BBM. Sarah Duterte. There are only two types of people in the world. And it's time to choose your side. Sabi ko, mahal ko yung mahihirap. Ang dapat kong itanong natin, nung walang eleksyon, asan ka? Uh, and we can move around without without getting in the way of the relief operations. And that's why I, I came at this time. And kaya naman kami nandito para magdagdag din ang tulong sa inyo. Let us never forget the heroism the courage, the sacrifice, the nationalism, the love of country and the people that they demonstrate every day that they